whenever we work with a sequence in csrp applications then there are so many operations that we need to perform and to deal with these operations there are two new operator in csrp8 let's understand about these two new operators first is about the index and index is something that i believe you already know but let's understand more about this index in csrp index is the position of an item in a sequence for example we are having an array and in an array there are let's say five elements then the index start from zero and it goes to four so the index starts from zero then one two three four etc now let's assume that from this array i need to get the last element then there are two options earlier we were having only one option and that was in the array we were passing the index and to get the last index we were using the array length so we were using array dot length basically the name of your array then the length over there the length property and then we were using the minus one and using that approach we were getting the last element of that array but now here in csrp there is something that has been introduced new so there is a new little umbrella symbol and if you are using this little umbrella symbol then you do not have to pass this entire text like array dot length minus one this array dot length minus one is equal to this little umbrella and the one and this is how we can represent this new operator this symbol is available on the sixth key of your keyboard and this little umbrella symbol is relative to the end of the sequence whenever we talk about the index then it starts from the beginning and if you are talking about this new operator which is this little umbrella then it will start from the end let's understand how it will work here in this example i am having a very simple array and it is of type string in this string array i am having five elements and these values are first second third fourth and fifth now let's talk about the index so if you are talking about the index then it will start from the beginning and it will start from zero so it is saying zero then one then two then three and then four if we talk about the entire array length then it is five how to do that we can count all the elements so one two three four five the total length is five if you will use the length property on this array then you will get this five length now let's talk about the index from end and if you are talking it from the end then it will start from one the zero will represent the length of the array so we will start it with one the last element will be one one two three four five this is how it will work for example if i want to get something from the beginning using the index then i can simply use this array and then the i but if i need to get something from the end then i have to use this little umbrella symbol and then pass the index number if you need to get the first element from this array then you can simply pass the zero index and you will get its value but what if you need to get the last value then this little umbrella and the one and then only you will get the last value this array dot length is equals to this little umbrella zero it means if you will pass array and then array dot length then you will get an exception in the same manner if you will pass this little umbrella zero in the array then you will also get the exception now let's have a look on the demo of all these things here i'm using the same console application and in this console application we are having couple of classes from the previous examples now let's talk about this program dot cs class we are using this program.cs class as a calling class but here let's comment everything what we have so i'm just commenting everything even let's comment this namespace as well if you want to have a look on the code then you can simply uncomment them and you can use it now let's say over here i want to write some code for this index and to understand this concept better let's create an array over here so here i'm writing and here let's define some initial values so first i'm writing this is a very simple array that i'm having over here now let's assume that i want to get the first element how to do that so i can simply use the console.write line and here i can pass this my data and then i can pass the zero let's run this application and let's see what is on the output you will get the first element because there is nothing fancy code over here we are simply passing the first index that is zero but now let's assume that i want to get the last element how to do that let's copy this line and paste it again over here and here let's format this data a little bit so here i'm writing first element if i want to get the last element then just write the last element over here now we have two options at this place first is that i can simply use this my data dot length minus one and there is one more way so let's just copy this line 
paste it again and this time we will use the new operator from the C sharp and here it is 1 just save all the changes and run this application and let's see what is the output on that console window you will see we are getting the first element it is first and the last element is this fifth and we are getting the second value from this logic my data dot length minus one and this one is coming from this particular logic let's assume i want to get this second last value then how to do that here i can simply pass two and you will get the second last run this application we will get the fourth in the third value over here you can see we are getting fourth this is how you can use the index in c sharp application now just for the testing purpose let's see what will happen if i'm passing zero over here let's run this application and just see what will happen you will see we are getting an exception and it is saying index was outside the bounds of an array it means this zero is something that does not exist in this array in the same manner if i will pass this my data dot length then we will also get the similar exception let's try this one also we are getting the exception it means if we need to get the last element then we have to use one over here and here we have to use minus one cool if you need to get the last third element then you can simply use one two three you can simply write three over here and you will get your last third element there is also one more very important concept in csrp8 and it is called as range this range operator is represented by two dots a range is the subsequence from a sequence for example if you are having an array of let's say n digits and you want to extract the sub array from that particular array then you can use this range operator this range operator is represented by using this two dots example is one dot dot four so here again i'm having the same example and over here let's just comment all these lines just for now and here let's write some logic for the range let's say here i'm writing sub data and it is equals to my data and in this my data i can pass the range and to work with this range operator i have to provide two things first is the beginning and second is the end let's say i want to start from first then i have to enter two dots and then i have to enter the end let's say i'm having this four Let's use a console dot write line statement to print the data. So here I'm writing console dot write this time, and here I will be using this string dot join, and in this string dot join I will join them with a space and comma, and let's write that sub data. Put a semicolon at the end. Just run this application, and let's say what will happen. You will notice we are getting three elements one two three let's focus more on the output so basically we are telling our application that you need to get the data from first index and the first index is the second so it is including this second then we are telling it to go till four so one two three four but if you will notice that this application is not including the last one that is fifth it is only including first second and this third it means if you are using this range operator then it will start from this first but it will not include the last element if you are having the sequence like this that first we are having this start then we are having dot dot and then the end in this logic this start is inclusive and this end is exclusive and this is the reason that we are not getting this last element over here let's say i will start from zero and i will go to the last element now because this logic will not include this last one so we will get all the elements over here let's run this application see we are not getting any kind of exception and we are getting all the elements so using this logic it will start from the first and it will go to the end and at this place you can pass any logic and you will get your data now let's talk about more logic in the range there are multiple ways to use this range operator first is we can define both the boundaries that is the start and the end in the second one there is no need to define the start and end boundary if you are not doing that then it will assume the zero index and the little umbrella zero at the end we can also pass only the end then it will start from the zero and we can also pass only the start so there are four ways to use this range operator let's try all of them one by one 
so here i'm having this logic and here i'm passing both the boundaries this is the beginning and this is the end i'm getting my data what will happen if i will remove both of them and i will simply use this dot dot run this application and let's say what will happen this time you will notice we will get all the elements if you are not passing anything in the beginning then the application will assume that it is a zero index and if you are not passing anything at the end then it will assume that this is little umbrella zero symbol over here okay now let's start with the third approach and in this third approach i will pass the first index which is let's say zero run this application and we will get all the elements but what will happen if i'm passing one or two over here run this application so starting from second index we will get all the elements and this is the zero index then the first index and then the second index so starting from this index this value third we will get whatever we have in this entire array now let's try with the last way and here i will pass the last index and if i'm not passing anything over here then by default this will assume this little umbrella zero but let's say here i'm passing three run this application again you will notice we will get only two elements if you talk about the index from end then this one is first second third and remember in the range sequence the end boundary is not included excluding that end boundary we will get the entire data so we are having the second and the first and here is the data this is how you can use the range operator in your c sharp application and i believe this is very very useful because there are so many operations where we need to get the subsequence from a particular sequence and using this range operator now we can work on them very very easily we can also use these rays and indices as a variable how i can directly declare them in a variable and i can simply use the variable over here like this let's try this approach also what i'm doing over here is let's say here i'm defining my variable it is a and it is let's say two like this and here i'm passing this a so what i'm doing over here is i'm having this a variable i'm just defining my index at this place and i'm just passing this a at this place okay run this application see we are getting the output and there is no error it means we can use this index as a variable also let's declare one more variable b and this time here i'm using these two dots and let's pass these two dots over here so i'm having this b run this application so ideally we will get all the values from this sequence we are having all of them at this place and let's say here i'm using this a like this run this application you will see we are getting only three elements it means it is not required to pass the hard coded values in your sequence you can create your logic and you can assign them in a variable and you can pass your variable here in this sequence and you will get your data you can also use it only for the index or you can use it with the range as well